It should be good. Let's go ahead and try to start this thing up. Today we are going to address the leveling issue on the Harsh Times tag. So it's not a big issue, but it's something that we're going to try to correct. Talk to Kyle. Kyle said he knows how to fix it. Basically, the correction is going to be we're going to uninstall the spindles, send them off to Kyle. He's going to modify them, chop them. We're also going to send him a pair of new rear camera kits for him to modify and chop. Basically, so we can fit some custom AG wheels that have been sitting for like three years now totally unrolled there's another set of ag custom ag wheels that i have on the build which y'all have seen plenty of times at shows but those are the ones that we got so they could fit these are the big daddies all right so all right so let's get started get out here in the garage in a minute since i've done any work out here just build it uh let's get the car cover off i'm damn sure gonna spend some time getting this garage straightened up since this whole COVID thing has hit, got a little bit more time, especially with the family. There is the car under the nice car cover. Boom, gotta have a Honda flag. So yeah, we're gonna get this car cover off and fix this stuff, get some of this stuff off. Now, tomorrow, uh, my cousin is supposed to come by in the morning, like 7 a.m. So I pretty much wanna have this car already jacked up and have the wheels off so we can just go ahead and get to removing the spindles and i got some new parts in the day like i said that i'm going to go ahead and get installed while i'm waiting on the spindles to get back from kyle and we will go ahead and get into those parts as well but let's go ahead and get this cover off first she is now i don't know if you can see it but basically uh you can't you can't really see it from here but basically the front sits up just a tad bit higher than the rear and pretty much i think we're bottoming out on the upper towers so that's going to be the fix Per Kyle, he's the man with this shit. I've seen a lot of work that he's done, so I'm trusting him. Plus, he came by a referral of one of my partners, so pretty much gonna trust him for that. You know, it's kind of rough these days. People don't really stick to their word. You send them shit, never get shit back for months. So I'm hoping everything goes good. Plus, he's NPC fam, so I got less to worry about, I feel. But uh, if you want, we can go ahead and pop the hood. So those of you have, who have not seen the updates on the engine bay can go ahead and see that. So let me go ahead and get that pop. And then let's go ahead. I bought a new jack. So that means I have three jacks. I'm thinking I'm only going to need two because the car sits so low in the rear. You got to have it aired down that it's a little hard to get under there with one side jacked up. So we're going to jack both sides up. Get the car on four jack stands. Leave it up in the air till we get everything finished and then go from there. So, yeah, let me go ahead and pop this hood for you all to see got the damn key inside anyway and there she goes pretty clean definitely I mean some things we could do in here to get it spruced up but you know coming 2021 we're gonna have some things done so I'm really liking it but yeah so this was red and we had big intake over here new hardware down there to exit that new starter to color match alternator to color match that box is going to change so it's going to be some other things in here that are going to change but right now focused on going ahead and getting this suspension up so let's get this car jacked up let's get this other jack out of the truck so you can see that then Let's see the new parts that came in. Yep, 
Yeah, so this is the new Jack. Really don't like dealing with Harbor Freight too much, but it's the closest store right now. We got a lot of store closures, so I got what I could get. And I hate the fact that they talk about their coupon excludes jacks, which is some bullshit, but whatever. Let's get this jack out. Then let's check out these new parts that came in. Then let's get to trying to get this car jacked up. A nine and a half plus 15 all the way around. So it's a little bit different. And as for the front, it's what we got on the front. And there's not much camber ran up there at all. So I'm thinking once we get the spindles done, some of the other stuff, everything should be good. Let's go ahead and try to start this thing up. Oh, there we go. Usually three hits is good, four hits. Not tripping. All right, so. Get this thing aired up, try to get it jacked up, boom, see what happens. So, we are going to leave the jack right here and drop the car down on that on the rear so let's get that Damn. But before we do the front, I gotta open up this new jack, get that under there, so give me a moment. All right, so we got the front jack in place. Right there. And now, we're gonna let the car down on the jacks and then jack it up. Oh, just barely cleared. It landed on it, but just barely cleared the bumper. I mean, there ain't. There ain't hardly any space in between that, but we cleared it. That's the most important thing. All right, so already got the wheels off. Jack stands in place, all four points. Uh, two of the wheels already out there. Working on this wheel now. So I'll get these off, then start getting to getting these calipers off, making sure they are nice and secure because they are custom coated. Then we could compare the wheels. So we got the caliper, nice hardware on there. So I'm just gonna disconnect this bracket. I probably won't clip that. I would like to find the bracket that goes around there to hold that. Probably look for that in the junkyard or something. And take these bolts off and then lay the caliper on there and then get the rest of this off. find it and definitely need to release the parking brake there we go keep these bolts together I hate losing stuff got another bucket to keep the other caliper up on and I'll find something to put the rear ones on and just pull this whole assembly off and sit this baby right up here so it doesn't get messed up. So, 
got that right there. You can see the caliper is coated, kind of the color match the car. Now, gonna pull the rotor off, then get this spindle off. And I love what I see right here, because as you can see, I'm pretty much all the way out. So only thing I'm worried about is clearance between the spindle and the bag as I start to camber in for the front. But I think I'm going to be good. I got about a good inch or so in here to go. So I think I'll be good. Plus it'll be modified. So hopefully we don't run into the bag when we start cambering in for the other wheels. All right. I got the calipers off. 17. Got on the screw right there. Got the rotor right there. Sit on the terry cloth. I'm going to leave it there. You definitely want to put that on something. Don't get grease on it because then you kind of screwed unless you clean it off before you put it on, which I'm probably going to do anyway. Now I'm going to get the ball joints loosened, the top and bottom ball joints loosened and off. Then get this bolt off and then disconnect the tie rod. And then I think that's about it. And then this spindle comes off and then I get to show you all what's in that box so you can see what else is going to be upgraded on here all right so stay tuned finna get this off real quick and then we'll keep moving stuff is brand new what you can do is especially this stuff's been replaced like hella i did a real real build on this you take this castle nut it usually fits like this where the crowns are down turn the crowns up and thread it up at least until it's just about flush with the bottom of the ball joint bolt then back it off some so you got about a good amount of threads take a good solid hammer and whack it a couple of times being careful not to hit your fender and this will usually go ahead and pop up so you don't need a ball joint separator i mean it's always good to have the right tool for the right job but right there boom we're in there it's off now i can just go ahead scoot that to the side put this one right here and thread it up and then what I like to do is go ahead and put my parts somewhat back in here I'm going to get new cotter pins because I don't like the way those are looking but they'll sit in there so I know where parts go now we're going to do the bottom one get the rest of this stuff off all right so got the bottom ball joint loose now I got big Bertha right here definitely want an impact for this and you definitely want to go ahead and put a little punch in here knock that little dimple out which stops that bolt from turning go ahead and put this mother on and let's get this thing backed out sometimes you're gonna have to get this sh Boom. Woo! Impact power, baby. No joke. There we go. Voila. It is out. Now for the next one. So, finally got both spindles out. That last fucking drive shaft bolt was a, a pain in the ass. Got that out. Spindles are out. So, gonna find out what's in that box. Here are the spindles. Gonna get ready to ship those off Monday. So, with that being said, those are out. Let's go ahead and get to opening what's in this box that just came today. I think the rest of the parts are going to come tomorrow. Should be enough time for me to go ahead and get this stuff overnighted to Kyle Monday morning. 
He should get it by Tuesday morning, be able to do what he's got to do. And I'm hoping to get him back the following weekend and get all of that stuff installed so we can see what's coming next. Open up the box that came today. Shit looks battered and abused. Front lower control arms totally came out the box. But here they are. Skunk 2. Front lower control arms for this. Alright, so let me show you why we're putting these in here and why I'm taking out what's in there now. Put these right here. Got the new Skunk 2s. Definitely good quality. Alright. Probably a little heavier than what's in there now, but more close to the OEM spec. And why that matters is this, because these I originally got when I first started to build. And as you can see, they're red. And my drop forks are polished. This is kind of polished. So I want something to kind of go along with that. Plus to more like accent that gold hardware I have right there, which is, can you see it? It's right there. I got it all through the engine bay too. And this red is just not gonna cut it anymore. I don't have anything red in here anymore. I went away from that scheme. So we're gonna go ahead and get those out of there probably tomorrow morning. So I'm done for the day, finna wrap this up, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm done for the day, wrapping this up and we'll start again tomorrow morning, all right? So stay tuned, part two, part three will be coming when everything gets back and then it's time to, damn, gloves jack. Time to get some stuff in line. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong.